Hey, what's up below? Welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Kayla Codem Glitterbug here on the channel and today I am going to be sharing with you guys five last minute Halloween ideas that are super cool and you can find all of the pieces for at the Goodwill. So let's get into it. Before we get into this video, don't forget to pause it, go down below, and hit the subscribe button. It's beautiful and red and white, and it's calling out your name, and I want you to join the Glitterbug fam, as do I, as does the rest of the fam. So go ahead and click that button. Also turn on the post notifications um, so that you know when new videos come up, which are every Sunday. <laughs> Hello, you guys. So today we are going to be doing a really fun challenge. So Halloween is on Wednesday, so it is Sunday currently. This video is going up today. I'm filming it today, the whole nine, because I really wanted to make this authentic, like actual, very last minute, like don't have a lot of time to get it done sort of situation. So I think, what is today? Like the 28th? Yeah, the 28th. And so I'm going to be sharing with you guys five to six Halloween costumes that are last minute. And here's the catch. All the pieces I don't already have, we're going to be getting from the Goodwill. So I've laid out pieces and most of them are actually from Goodwill. Um, so this is going to be like a Goodwill challenge. The only thing, the only exceptions I'm going to make are hats and boots because I don't wear um, like thrifted hats or shoes just because it freaks me out. I don't want to get lice and like the whole shoe thing. A lot of people can look past, I can't. Um, so all the clothing pieces are gonna be from Goodwill and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. But before we head that direction, I wanna show you guys all of the pieces that I have laid out for the outfits. And let me grab my phone and I can show you the actual outfits and characters we're trying to make for this video. So first we have this outfit. So this is gonna be Lara Jean from To All The Boys I've Loved Before. And we're remaking this outfit. So I think that's pretty spot on. I actually got this striped shirt from Goodwill. And this um, jean, sh jean skirt is from Target like a long time ago. But you can totally find um, denim skirts at Goodwill's. The next one we're going to be doing. So I only have two pieces for this one so far. So this one I'm going to need to get a couple of things. So I have this tie. I got that from my dad's closet. And this plaid skirt, which I got from Goodwill. And again, you can find plaid skirts at Goodwill like no other. So we're going to be remaking this outfit from Kissing Booth. Focus. So we're going to need that yellow shirt. And maybe a backpack. I have a lot of backpacks, so maybe not. The next outfit we are remaking is... This one, which is Kimmy from Rugrats All Grown Up. All right, well, it's very blue, but yeah. So she's wearing a yellow and a yellow t-shirt with a pink tank top and a green skirt. So I have this yellow shirt, this pink tank top. I kind of hate how that looks, so I might buy either a different yellow shirt or a different tank top or both. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, depends on what the Goodwill has. But we're also going to need a green skirt. And I think she's wearing purple boots, but I think I might just wear black ones because I have black boots that look just like that. And then this outfit is, I think her name is Reggie, I think, from Recess. I don't know her name, but I'm pretty sure that might be it. I don't know. So she's wearing a brown jacket with an orange dress, a yellow beanie, these striped leggings, and then brown boots. I actually don't own any brown boots like that, but I do have a lot of brown boots, so I'll just wear a different pair. So I have this orange dress, which I actually got at Goodwill a couple weeks ago. This brown jacket, which I got at Uptown Cheapskate, which is a different um, thrift store, and I got that last year. And then these tights are just red tights, which hers are yellow and red striped. So I think that these might work for that. And so again, I'm just gonna need to get a hat for this one. And I'm just gonna run to Walmart because they have hats for like a dollar or two like that and I can't find mine. I actually have that exact hat and I can't find it. So I'm just gonna have to rebuy the hat that I have, which is kind of sad. Um, but it'll be different because when I have this from H&M. So, yes. So this is the mission. Now for the fifth outfit, I'm either going to do... Actually, I think her name is Reggie. I think this is Reggie, right? So I'm either gonna do Reggie from Rocket Power or Eliza from the Eliza Thornberries. And if I can find both outfits, I'll do both. So I've made myself a checklist. So I've made myself a checklist. And 
Now I'm gonna hop in the car and I'm actually gonna pack up some stuff to donate because I have a bunch of stuff I need to get rid of and head to the Goodwill. pieces I was able to find. I sort of introduced you a little bit ago um, what the idea was and what outfits I'm trying to put together, what I already had here. So here's what I was able to find at the Goodwill. My dad actually came with me so that was kind of helpful. Um, so I was able to find a pair of camo pants which I'm currently wearing, you will see in a second, um, in the actual try-on bit. So I couldn't find for the Reggie costume a short sleeve magenta shirt but this is like the exact same color as her shirt only long sleeve so that worked out fine and I actually DIY'd this so we can jump into that DIY right now really quick. So for this DIY you are just going to need a magenta shirt, some yellow fabric paint and some black fabric paint and just a photo for reference. So literally it's so easy just slide some cardboard in between the shirt so in case it bleeds it doesn't go all the way through and then just paint out a rocket ship just like on Reggie Rocket shirt. Now, I will say, and I say this later on, if you are really in a crunch for time, I recommend ironing it on instead of painting it on. If you are like really, really in a crunch, I, re I don't recommend using fabric paint. It does take a couple of hours to dry, so I would recommend getting iron-ons, like iron-on printable iron-on things. Just print out the rocket and iron it on. It might not last as long, but it will most certainly be neater and most certainly be faster. So if you're really in a crunch, that is my recommendation for you. Another piece that I picked up is this yellow button up shirt. Now they did not have a short sleeve shirt, which is what Joey King's character is wearing. This is also for the kissing booth. So I just chopped off the sleeves and rolled them up and it works just as well. So if you are looking for that short sleeve shirt look and you can't, go ahead and chop off the sleeves, roll them up and it will work great for you. This is also really oversized and is from the men's section. So if you're looking for any button ups, the men's section is where it's at. If you can't find yellow, white is always a great alternative. Also, if you need a tie, I already had one because my dad has a lot from working in corporate world for a long time. Um, they have a million ties at the thrift store, so you can always buy them there too. Another piece I got is this yellow shirt, which is for Kimmy from Rugrats All Grown Up. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, it's just a plain yellow t-shirt. Most likely your thrift store will have one. If not, you can actually get one that has some sort of graphic on it, as long as it's not too overbearing, because you are going to be putting another shirt on top of it. So just to keep that in mind. Also, Walmart is a great place to get a cheap, um, very low quality, but cheap t-shirt sort of situation. So if you're looking for a yellow t-shirt, can't find one at your thrift store. You could probably find one at Walmart for the same price, if not cheaper. Another skirt situation that I found, this is just like one of those wrap skirts and it's massive and I'm not even really sure how to hold it up to show you. But I did need a green shirt for, or green skirt for Kimmy's outfit. Um, and it's just this olive green, exactly the color that we were looking for. Um, this one might be a little bit more difficult, but as we see from this wrap skirt situation. If you're crafty and you're looking to really go in on this and you have more time, you can definitely make it. If not, see if you can find some green shorts or green pants and you can turn them into cutoffs or you can even leave them as pants, but any sort of green bottom will really work for this. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a skirt. I will say I did find probably a half a dozen green skirts 
um, that were this color green and then probably another half dozen that were a different color green. I think if you can find anything that's in the green or blue family, you're probably fine. I definitely think you can add a denim skirt if you don't have a green one, so, and people will still get it. Now, two other pieces that I picked up but I didn't get at, um, at the thrift store was a hat and a pair of sunglasses. So I picked up this hat at Walmart. It was $3 for this just beanie, which is almost exactly the same as the character from Recess that I make up her outfit. And then um, the girl from Rocket Power, I think her name is Reggie, has a pair of red sunglasses. I picked these up for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I can't get the sticker off, but you know, red sunglasses, she's wearing them, got them for a dollar. So I think in all in all, none of these outfits co cost me more than $5 each. Um, I spent $30 at the thrift store and I got three things that are not including these outfits. So I would say $5 each for all of these outfits. So A, they're cheap, B, they're environmentally friendly because you're thrifting, and three or C, whatever floats your boat. Um, they're really quick and really easy and fun and unique and most likely the people around you won't be dressed as the same thing as you. Alright guys, now let me get into the actual look portion of this video. Alright, let's go. So I finally figured out her name. It's Ashley Spinelli. So what you're gonna want is either gray or brown. I've seen pictures with both, um, but either gray or brown boots and a jacket. You want them to match. You're gonna want an orange dress and then she has yellow and red striped socks or tights on and I just have these red ones so I paired that with it. Um, basically get the yellow hat and I feel like you can probably pair anything with it and you could be Ashley Spinelli. Next up is Laura Jean from probably my favorite movie that came out this year um, which is To All the Boys I've Loved Before and so you're just gonna want a striped turtleneck long sleeve shirt Honestly, it could just be a long sleeve shirt, but definitely just get a striped shirt, pair it with a denim skirt and some sneakers via platforms. You know Lara Jean loves her platforms if you've seen the movie. And obviously add on a scrunchie because homegirl likes a good scrunchie. Also pair it with a letter that says Peter Kavinsky on it for prop. Next, we're going to be playing Elle Evans from the Kissing Booth, which is another Netflix killer. That movie is so good. Um, so this is from the day where Elle, I think, ripped her skirt or something, and it was laundry day, so she didn't have a skirt except for one that was very old, so it was very short. Now mine is not that short, but it's a plaid skirt, um, so if you have a shorter skirt and you're comfortable wearing it, go for it. Um, and then pair it with a tie and a yellow button-up shirt and some sort of tennis shoe, and you are officially the next cast member for the kissing booth. Next, we are trying out Kimmy. Don't mind this awful wig. It is honestly terrible and I felt so weird. Kind of felt like an anime character of sorts. But anyway, so what you're gonna want to take is a yellow shirt with a pink tank top. If you can find like a nice purple wig in the short amount of time you have, go for it. She does have purple hair. Um, and then you're gonna wanna pair that shirt and tank top combo with a green skirt of sorts. Um, I totally think you can wear a denim skirt if you can't find the green one, and I think that would work too. And then just pair it with either some purple boots or black boots and some pink socks. Next, we are going for Reggie from Rocket Power. I loved this movie. It was, or not movie, TV show. I think that maybe was a movie, but this was one of my favorite TV shows growing up. Um, so what you're gonna need for this one is a magenta short sleeve or long sleeve shirt with a rocket on the front. Like I said in the DIY, you can either paint it or you can iron it on. You're gonna want some camo pants and then red sneakers. I didn't have any, so I just paired them with red ballet flats and then red sunglasses, and you are officially Reggie at a skateboard and you're good to go. Thumbs up. Also, don't forget to comment down below. I want to know what you're going to be for Halloween. Let me know down below. I'm thinking I might be. I'm thinking I might be Kimmy because I really liked that outfit. It was really comfortable and really cute. Um, I also really like these pants though, so maybe I'll be Reggie. I don't know. Anyway.
anyway, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you next time. Bye! What's it, friend?